Well, howdy, y'all. Welcome back to another edition of the Texan Table on the Road. And I hope you brought your reusable bags and your bellies because today we're visiting the Texas Farmer's Market here at Mueller in Austin. Let's go. All right, so this is one of the biggest and best farmer's markets in all of Texas. It's got over a hundred different booths and everybody has to come from within 150 miles of Austin and they can only sell stuff that they've either grown, produced, or made by hand. So these are real deal farmers and artisans. So let's jump in and shop a little bit, but first things first, we gotta find some breakfast. What's the best? Lemon orange is our best seller. Lemon orange, let's do it. Hey, thank you. Ah, oh, now that's fresh. Sourdough, a chocolate almond croissant. Or what are these guys? Ooh. Like it's like a spinach and cheese, like a bechamel cream sauce. Okay, cut the regular croissant and give me one of those. This place is a gastronomic feast. Ooh. So what do we have here? 30 day mm. dry aged American Wagyu ribeyes. No. From cattle born and raised on our ranch in Brady, Texas. Okay, are, these are beautiful steaks. Yeah, they're very tasty. I mean, yeah, you come to the uh, farmer's market and you end up just buying lots of beef. So, <laughs> I mean, that's what you gotta do. All right, so here is an actual farmer at the farmer's market. Uh, what I love so much about like this experience is it's not just vegetables that you gotta take home and cook, right? There's tons to eat, but don't neglect your vegetables, kids. We all need our nutrients and vitamins. If I only knew how to cook things like this. Or this. <laughs> Was that rhubarb? Rutabaga? Rainbow chard. So what do you do with rainbow chard? Usually saute it. Sauteed. Yeah, cut Sa up the stems small, cook them with some onion and garlic, bacon grease if you got it. What about these? Kiyogia beets. Okay. So oh, these are beets. They're beets. Not a beet yeah. guy. I mean, I could drop a killer beet, but eat one, I don't know. All right, look, ran to my buddy Drew. It's fun to run into people you know at the farmer's market. Now you're here like every, Every week. Seriously? Every week. All right, what's the routine? Grab some barbecue from mom's, hit some steaks over here, <laughs> some lemonade, you know? Got a, got a whole path that we make. I mean, is it usually this busy? Oh, uh, this is pretty, pretty, pretty chill for right now. It gets Seriously? Real oh, it gets yes. real busy in about 30 minutes or so. Oh, dude, but wow. Yeah, this, this... Guess then the barbecue's probably gonna sell out, so we oh, better be... jump on it. Yeah, they'll be done by noon. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, that's madness. Because you get all the smoke of traditional Texas barbecue, but you also get all that, that brininess of like a good uh, New York pastrami. But leave it to you to find barbecue at the farmer's market. <laughs> hey. really it's, it's, like it's, it's, it's healthy. Ooh, Yopon peach tea, sweetened with peaches from Fredericksburg. That's delicious. Take some of that home. It just will go with anything, and so you can put it in anything. You just cut the stems off, throw it in. All right. It can go on a pizza, it can go on a sandwich, it can go on pasta, it can go on risotto, anything you want. But cooked. But cooked. We definitely Cook. recommend cooking all of our mushrooms. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Thanks, man. Drinking vinegar? Drinking vinegar. These are not just apple cider vinegar, these are fire cider. Okay. I usually don't drink habaneros and jalapenos and horseradish. <laughs> okay. It's called tough mother for a reason. Okay. Woo! Wow. Oh, the, it burns. So I'm gonna drink a tablespoon of this a day, and uh, what are, what are gonna be my health benefits? Essentially, you're gonna live forever. Personal guarantee. You heard. I, I heard it. Yeah, is that in the fine print? It's there. It's there. So if I die, I get a full refund. Just, but me personally. Never had it happen. <laughs> I mean, this is like a true destination. I thought I was just gonna come, get a bunch of ingredients to go make food at home. But like, I did that, and then ate my way across this farmer's market. I will say, if you're gonna visit, you gotta come hungry today, and then also know that you're gonna be hungry in a few days. 
I'll be making some mushroom and uh, rainbow chard if anybody wants some. It'll be at my house in a few days. Absolutely come to the Texas Farmer's Market here at Mueller or go find a local farmer's market in your neighborhood. I promise it'll be worth the trip. Cheers, y'all. <laughs>